welcome back. This is Shane here from Guitar Rook. Welcome back. I'm excited about this one. This is, we've been doing a lot of finger picking lately and some tough stuff, so I thought I'd drop it back a bit. Just do some strumming, just a fun strummer song. This is Neil Young's Long May You Run. Oh, if I can open my iPad, there. Long May You Run by Neil Young. And uh, just a good strummer, a solid strumming pattern. And uh, a couple of bar chords in there. Don't let that spook you. These are important bar chords. You need to know them for other songs as well. So um, let's dig right in. And um, I want to send you first off to uh, patreon.com slash guitar work. I've got a couple of song sheets here for you. I'll be referring to these the entire time. It's going to help you follow along and uh, get through the song. When we're doing a play along, we'll do a play along at full speed. It's at 148 beats a minute. Uh, so you want to be able to fend for yourself while you're watching the video kind of thing. So grab those patreon.com slash guitar at work and I want to thank you for coming back and all your thumbs up and suggestions and comments have really meant a great deal on this end so thank you for that very much and thanks to the people who've already been to Patreon and uh, for helping to support this whole effort uh, fabulous uh, I'll just let's go through the chords quickly we'll get right to the play along so I think we all probably know a D straight garden variety D whoops double check this guy uh, yeah, there we go D and you're gonna come across a D major seventh as well coming your way here and that you'll see often enough, so you may as well uh, know it, memorize it kind of thing. All I'm doing there is barring the top three strings. First finger is getting there, barring the top three strings. Now I've got two X's in that chord, meaning that uh, you're trying not to hit those low two strings. That's the one there. And uh, we're into a G, garden variety G. You could use that G, four finger G, or you could use a three finger G, whichever. It doesn't matter in this song. I like the four finger G in this song. It doesn't matter though. And here's your D, back to D again. Now here's your bar chord, B minor. Whoa. I think a lot of us know that. Maybe I, so we struggle getting there, but if um, if you don't know it, uh, look for a video I did a long time ago on, on just trying to get that chord in order. He's your most important bar chord for sure, so you want to know him, definitely. Uh, notice, uh, you want to keep that first finger as straight as you can. Get that wrist low like that, and if you're up like that, you're, ru you're ruining all your squish power. So if that first finger is in, uh, bent like that, you don't want that. You want that first finger as straight as you can. It means bringing your wrist out and around like that and ducking that left shoulder perhaps as well as your B minor. And back to G, no problem there, there's an A. Here we go, just going through the chords. Uh, the only other chord we're gonna find in the entire song is a B flat, you're gonna find it at the end of the chorus. Here's another bar chord situation. Um, if I played my, let, let me get, you, get to it this way, if I played an A chord with fingers two, three, and four, there's many fingerings for an A, but if I go two, three, and four, like that, and I drag the whole shape up, one fret, just drag the whole shape up to the third fret, then I'm going to bar the first fret with the first finger. And again, that wrist is down low. That's super important. Watch out for that. There you go. There's your B flat. So again, it was an A. Bring them up one fret and then bar. Boom. There you go. You're going to use that in a fair amount of songs. You may as well have them. And that's all we need for chords. So maybe the only couple that might be new to you, D major 7, if a B minor was new to you, or a B flat as well. So get to know those. You may have to stop tape right there, just get those together. I'm going to be shouting them out during the play along uh, with the drum machine. I'll shout them out and um, hey, you might miss some. The whole beauty of the play along thing is it's trying to simulate you playing with other people where bad things happen to good people, meaning you'll have to recover. It's all about gaining recovery skills. So get in there and uh, you're going to, if you miss some, so what? I'll shout out the next chord. I try to shout them out a little bit early. Watch out for that. Doesn't mean you're late. I'm trying to shout them out a little bit early to give you a fighting chance to get there. Um, that'll vary depending on the lyrics and all that. Um, and that's it. Let's just launch it right in. 148 beats per minute. I've got the fabulous Beat Buddy going and um, nothing else to talk about. I've got it here on my iPad and let's just leap right in. There's only verses and choruses. There's an instrumental section as well, which just follows the verse form. So it's, it's pretty much straight ahead. Uh, intro is right up top and I'm gonna leap right in. You can hear a little drum fill here. So play along with me. I'm gonna shout them out D to D major seventh, etc. Oh, but wait a second. At the end of the chorus, that's what I wanted to mention. At the end of the chorus, uh, where the lyrics are, long may you run. You'll see the chorus is darkened there. Long may you run. You'll see a bracketed section. It goes D to G to a B flat, twice on the B flat, and then back to the D. Now I've written out the punches on the bottom of page two here. The punches are D, it says punches underneath. D, it goes down, up, up, and then do a G. And then up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you're seeing that written there. It's all right there. B flat will be down, up, down, up, up, down, down. And then you're back to the D. So what is that? Let's do that a bunch of times because that's sort of representative of the, that chorusy bit. So I'm going to take it. Read it with me. Here's D coming. Three and a four and D. Up, up, G. Up, down, up, down, up. B flat coming. Down, up, down. 
up, up, down, down, D. There we go. And you're back to the regular strum when you hit that last D. Let's do that a couple more times. Here's the punches at the end of the chorus. D to G, three, four. Down, up, up, G. Up, down, up, down, up, down, B flat. Down, up, down, up, up, down, down, D. You're back to the regular strum. Let's do that punch again. Two, three, D to G. Down, up, up, G. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, B flat, down, up, down, up, up, down, down, D. Good. Now I've chosen, uh, there's many instruments in the song. I've chosen this pattern, which is most of our favorites here, which is down, down, up, up, down, up, for the basis of the song, for the whole thing, except when we hit those punches we just did. So that would be down, down, up. Up, down, up. Every time you see a chord, except for those punches, you play that pattern. Again, that'd be down, down, up, up, down, up, then D major seven. There we go, then a G, and a D. That's your first section. So uh, even if the chords are close together in spots, doesn't matter. They still get a full pattern. That's more about the vocal phrasing than anything. Um, so I know we're whipping through this, got some caffeine pumping through my veins here, and we are ready to go. Uh, you're gonna just just wing it here. I'm gonna have to scroll midway, I think, which is always a bummer. Page one there, and then what if I do this? Yeah, page one, then over to page two. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, sorry, let's do this. Ready? And we're starting with the intro as we should. Ready? Here's a drum fill. One, two, three, D. D major seven. G. D. B minor. G, A twice, D coming, D major 7, G, D, B minor, A, D, first verse, D, major 7, we've been through, G, D, together, B minor, G, memories, A, twice, still to come, D, D major 7, things to do, G, stormy D, weather, B minor, here's an A, long A, double D, U, chorus, D, D major 7, good, G, D, B minor, G, these changes, A, have twice, D coming, major 7, G, D in the sun, B minor. Here's an A, long A, D to G punches. B flat. D. Here we go, D again. Now it was back in, major seven, blind river, G. D, 1962, B minor. G, when I saw the A alive twice. D. Major 7, shift, G, on the long D, decline, B minor. Here's an A, long A, double D, U, now D again, chorus. Major 7, A, U, G, D, long A, U, B minor. G, B is G, double A, D, major 7, G, D in the sun, B minor. Here's an A. Long A. Here's a D to punches. B flat. Right to the instrumental. D. Guitar solo. D major 7. G. D. B minor. Here's a G. Double A. D. Major 7. G. Here's a D. B minor. Here's an A. D. Double D. Page two coming. D. Maybe the Beach Boys. Major seven. The Beach Boys. G. Here's a D. Got you now. B minor. Here's a G. Double A. D. Major seven. Rolling down. G. D. Empty ocean. B minor. Here's an A to the serve, double D on time. Chorus D, major seven. Here's a G, D, may you be mine. Here's a G, D is G, double A, D with the crew, B major seven there, good G. 
Rusty in the sun, B minor. Using A. Long A, punches D. G, B flat, and it on a D. There we go, wow, that was fast. Yeah, the very last time the punch is D, G, B flat, and he ends it on a nice slow stroke on that D chord. Hey, I know that was cooking along. It was absolutely cooking along. Uh, but again, I can't stress uh, highly enough, recovery skills are everything. When you're jamming with people, you're going to miss chords. Supposing you don't know the song, you don't even have a chart, you're watching somebody else to see what the chord changes are, you're going to miss some chords. And the ability to keep going uh, is huge. I see so many of us stop and try to reload. Hey, once in a while, you got it for sure. But try to fight your way through it. And uh, so I'd encourage you to, to go round and round on that video. And remember, there's verses and choruses. So you, you hey, good idea to memorize this that tough to memorize. Um, you may have noticed that I forgot to mention earlier that sometimes when there's a double D, when there's two D's in a row, like at the end of, let's say, the first verse and most verses there, uh, there's two D's in a row. Um, that's a long time to sit on one chord. So you're seeing what's called a D sus four. So I'll play a full pattern. And now if you put your pinky on that third fret of that high E and then take them off like that. Now you could do many, many rhythms. He goes like that, on, on like that it just it uh, it's still a D chord of sorts but it provides a bit of dialogue when you're just sitting on a static chord and same thing on the A a lot of times there's two A's in a row so um, what we do with that guy if you're fingering the A the same way I am you don't have to but um, here's an A I'm gonna drag the pinky up one fret just drag him up to the third fret that's A sus four suspended fourth A. like that again it just kills time a little bit of motion on, the, on a static chord ear picks up on that little melodic movement. Hey, so really great. Thank you again for coming back. It's really, really fun. Uh, meet me down in the comments. Let me know how you're doing with this. This was just meant to be quick and dirty. Get in there, fight for your life, and uh, have some fun playing along. And I'd be anxious to hear from you. And thanks again for the request and all your thumbs up. I've met such a huge big deal here. I seriously thank you for that. The sheets, again, are available from patreon.com slash guitar at work. Go grab those and let me know how you're doing. We'll see you again soon, guys. Okay. What? Two. Bow. Sassy.